guys what's going on welcome back to less than average gaming today i'm going to be showing you guys how to record pc games and capture gameplay footage for free it's 100 percent free no strings attached no catches or anything like that uh, so i hope you guys enjoy this one and i hope it really helps you out if it does make sure you share that like button some love let's try and hit 10 likes that'd be absolutely fantastic also if you want to see more tutorials in the future make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have any problems with this one, leave a comment and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Anyway, let's get straight into this one. Alrighty, so the first thing you need to do is click on the link in the description. It'll take you to the Open Broadcaster software download page. It should detect which operating system you're running and you'll be able to select whichever version you think suits your needs. For this tutorial, I'll be picking the classic version. Alternatively, you can pick the studio version if you're looking for something a bit more feature heavy. But if you're just starting out looking for something that's pretty basic and you can sort of roll with from the start, pick the classic version. Anyway, after clicking the download button, it'll take a few minutes depending on your internet connection, so bear with me there and we'll come back when it's done. Alrighty, so once that's downloaded, you can open it up from your downloads folder or pretty much wherever you saved it. Next, you'll be able to run through the setup wizard, make sure you read the terms of service. I'll know if you didn't, I'm watching you. Anyway, after you've not read the agreement, click I agree. It'll extract and you should be right We're to gonna go. We're going to be taking a look at how to set this up so you can record your favorite games to make shit YouTube videos like mine. Alrighty, so make sure you click on the settings button at the top and it'll bring up this screen. In the general tab, you can choose your language and set up a settings profile in case you have multiple people using the same computer. You can make different profiles for different settings you might have for like a live stream or you're recording different videos and such. So you can set up that. In the next tab, encoding, you can pretty much copy my settings which is the times 264 encoding, have used CBR unchecked, and the max bitrate really depends on your internet, but I have mine set to 2500, which I think is a little bit low, but yeah, my internet's pretty bad out here. And the audio encoding should be set to AAC, 48 hertz, and the bitrate at 128. Next tab, broadcast settings allow you to choose what kind of recording you want to do, whether it be setting up a live stream or just recording gameplay normally. So if you click on mode, you let you choose between the two options. You can also set your file path for where your recordings will go, so make sure you pick somewhere you'll actually find it later and not do what I did the first time and just completely lose the first thing you recorded. Next tab, video, allows you to choose your video settings. Video adapter refers to the graphics hardware in your PC, so you can choose your graphics card if you have one, or you can also choose your integrated graphics card if you have one of those as well. The base resolution should be set to your monitor resolution, mine's 1920 by 1080 and the aspect ratio should be set to the default of 16 by 9. You can also choose whether or not to downscale the resolution of your footage. Say you only want to put a videos out in 720p for whatever reason, you can downscale it to that like I have there. The filter should also be set to fastest for the best performance and the FPS can vary based on type of game you're playing. So if you're trying to play and record Hearthstone, you can sort of set it to 30 as it won't really impact it that much. But if you're trying to record something fast-paced like Call of Duty or something like that, you probably can set it to 60 FPS. The audio tab allows you to choose your recording device and your listening device, so your microphone and your headphones if you're planning on using stuff like that. I haven't touched any of these settings, so you can fiddle around with them if you like. The keys tab allows you to customize how to stop and start recording, how to push the talk button, how to start the replay buffer, start the stream, whatever you really want to do. You can set those up however you like, it's pretty much personal preference. The advanced tab is pretty technical, probably don't bother with any of these settings if you really know what you're talking about, apart from the times 264 CPU preset, which I think should be set to at least faster, and you can set it faster depending on your CPU. And that's pretty much all the settings you need to start recording your favourite games, but how do you actually record them? First of all, right click the scenes box and click add scene. You can pretty much name it whatever you like, so you can name it based on what you're doing with the particular scene. So say you were setting up a background for a live stream or an opening sort of screen to let people know that the stream hasn't started yet, but it will soon. Stuff like that, so you can sort of set those up as you go, and you can name them accordingly. Next, right click the sources box. And you can, with this, you can pretty much choose where your footage will come from. So usually if you're recording games and stuff like that, you can use the game catcher feature, which sometimes is pretty picky with the games it chooses and is able to record. So if they're older, they sometimes won't work, depending. Other times you'll have to capture your monitor like I'm doing now, which is the monitor capture feature. 
You'll be able to fiddle around with these sources to see which one's right for the type of content you're trying to create. So say you're trying to make tutorial videos like this one, you can use monitor capture, window capture, game capture if that's something you're trying to make a tutorial on. Or you can use images, you can set up a slideshow, you can do all sorts of stuff like that. And yeah, I think that's about it. That about wraps this one up, guys. You can use OBS to pretty much record whatever you want from your PC. I mean, there are always going to be exceptions, but you can usually find your way around some of them. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Hopefully it helped you out. Let's try and hit that 10 like goal I said in the beginning of the video. Make sure you comment any problems you might have with this one, and I'll do my best to sort of help you out if you need it. Anyway, this has been Luke from Less Than Average Gaming, and I hope you guys have an above average day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!